protein powder taste test. Vegan. Vegan. Hold on. What is this going to be? What am I going to say? What am I... What am I actually doing? A vegan protein powder taste test. This is the first time I've even heard of this brand. This might be one of those brands that I've heard of before and I just it just never registered that this is the brand that I heard of. Flex brand vegan protein chocolate fudge brownie. Dairy free, lactose free, gluten free. Zero grams of sugar, 27 servings. Yum. Well, I don't know if it's yum quite yet. But we'll find out if it's yum. Nutrition facts. 130 calories per scoop. One scoop is 34 and a half grams. Total fat, one and a half. Saturated fat, half a gram. Zero trans fat, zero cholesterol. 400 milligrams of sodium. Uh, five grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, zero sugar, zero grams of added sugar, 24 grams of protein. Okay, okay, okay. What's inside? Pea protein, mama bean protein, cocoa powder, salt, digestive enzymes. There's anything gum and stuff in here, so I mean, it's not like that super clean, 100% no gums or anything added. That doesn't usually bother me. Um, what I am looking for in a protein powder is the max amount of protein per scoop. So 34 and a half grams, 24 grams of protein. That's that's pretty good for me. Never tried this before. Flex brand vegan protein chocolate fudge brownie. Let's see what it do. And hopefully this is good because I bought two. It was on sale. Okay, so I have been looking for a chocolate brownie protein specifically for a, for a while now. There was one brand that I, I used to really like a lot until they like totally screwed up my order. Like it was bad. It was three weeks that I was waiting for this order and I didn't get it. And it was a bulk order, like a big order. I didn't get it because they sold out of one of the flavors that I ordered and then they didn't even tell me. So I'm just like, Eek. hey, like y'all ain't gonna tell me and I spent all this money, but anyway. So I've been looking for a new chocolate fudge brownie, like a brownie, very specific. Because chocolate has a lot of different, chocolate has a lot of different flavors. There's like milk chocolate, there's German chocolate, there's dark chocolate, there's brownie chocolate, there's like chocolate frosty, you know, it's like there's different kinds of chocolate. I wanted specifically a chocolate brownie protein. So this is jo chocolate fudge brownie. So I'm giving this bad boy a try and we're gonna see. And hopefully it's good because I have two. Let's bleed. I'm just gonna get a little shaker, 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 baby, shaker, 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 baby. Okay, and I'm gonna put cashew milk. This is the cashew milk, unsweetened vanilla by Silk. I'm, I'm, I weigh out my stuff, y'all, I don't play. I want to know to the to the ounce what's up. So I'm gonna just use eight ounces of this. Eight on the dot. Now this says directions. Mix one scoop of flex vegan protein with ten to twelve ounces cold water or milk of choice. Adjust the amount of liquid based on your taste preferences. Flex vegan protein can be enjoyed in a variety of ways. Stir, blend, shake, bake. These are the variety of ways it can be enjoyed. In case you needed to know that. So let's crack this baby open. Let's crack this baby open. 
Mmm. I keep saying mmm, but yeah, I don't know if it's good. We have to do a sniff test. I can kind of smell it through the paper. <laughs> okay. That had nothing to do with the smell. It was just me. Girl, I can't open it. Okay, very carefully. Let's make a little. Okay, don't take don't take cutting advice from me. Let's just. A little sniff test. Ooh, that actually, mm, it, it does smell, okay. First impressions. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> okay, you know like that straight up Sara Lee Betty Cracker, like those horrible like packaged brownie things? It does actually smell like that. It doesn't smell weird or it doesn't smell like, um, pea protein like if you've ever bought just like plain unflavored pea protein for like other kinds of recipes it doesn't smell like that at all it smells like legit like box brownie Pillsbury dope boy brownie mix it truly does okay now that I have this everywhere so <coughs> I'm sorry Mm. All right. Okay. Y'all know. If you, if you know, you know. When the scooper is like... When the scooper is like a foot deep <laughs> into the protein powder and you have to reach your whole like elbow in to get the scooper out. Yeah, I don't be doing that. Mm -mm. Not over here. I don't want the dust all over my fingers. So what I'm going to do is just take a little spoon. Oh wait, I have to tell you how this looks. Okay, so there is... Is there a scooper in here? It's almost like you can see the cocoa powder streaks. Like, th like you, you can almost see like streaks of dark cocoa powder through the protein. Y'all, come over here. Take a look and see what I'm laying. So... So there's streaks. There's like streaks of protein powder, or there's streaks of cocoa powder in there. So, whatever. It's almost like, it's almost like it's not mixed all the way. Like, it's almost like the protein powder and the cocoa powder are not mixed. There's a dot of cocoa powder there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. It's it's like it's not mixed in all the way or something. But I don't really care. I just want the taste to be bomb. That's all I care about. So let's measure. And I'm using a spoon because I'm not about to go elbow deep and try to find this scooper. It's 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 down there but I ain't even got the time or the patience. But eh. So, here we go. We're gonna do 34 and a half grams. Change my units on my scale. I'm going for 34 and a half grams. Seems like a lot. If it doesn't taste like how this brownie looks, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I have waited so long to have like a good chocolate brownie, chocolate brownie, chocolate fudge brownie, super chocolate brownie, vegan protein powder. I really hope this is good. Okay, what am I trying to say? I added eight ounces of the cashew milk. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this because this says to have it with 10 to 12 ounces of cold water or milk. So what I'm gonna do is 
I got the eight ounces of cashew milk up in here. I got the protein up in here. I'm just gonna add uh, like two or three ounces of water to it. Some filtered water. Some filtered water. So one, two, three. And because I'm fancy, I want to add a little bit of ice, just a little ice, refreshing. By a little ice, I mean as much as my little grubby paws could grab. So, yeah, that's enough. All right, it's a shake test. <coughs> It's not the powder, it's just, it's me. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Oh yeah. I'm feeling good about this. The color immediately started turning like a rich brown <laughs> color. If, 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 it's, if it's matching the skin tone, you know. You know. Okay, so, so far so good. I, it's, it's, it's mixing pretty well. I'm not seeing a lot of sludge. There's minimal sludge on the sides of the uh, shaker bottle. So this is, these are, listen. If y'all know about protein powder, that makes sludge on the sides of your bottle. You know, you'd be going in with a spoon and you'd be scraping and all that stuff. See, I, I haven't even really shaken it that much. And maybe it's also because of the ice in there. Like, obviously there's a little blender ball, but maybe it's because, you know, I threw some ice in there, so maybe that's helping, but it's smooth. I think I'm getting carried away now. So, I mean, the blending, it looks pretty smooth. It looks, you know, it doesn't look watery. Like, I've used 11 ounces of liquid plus some ice cubes. It says to use 10 to 12 ounces of milk or water. So, I mean, I don't like when protein shakes are um, watery. I like them a little little thick, you know? Um, Give me some, you know, creaminess, you know? So this looks creamy to me. So here's a, here's a moment of truth. An hour later. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. The Flex Vegan Protein Chocolate Fudge Brownie. 24 grams of protein. Mung bean and pea protein, okay. Okay, the moment of truth, Flex. I need a straw before I say anything. That is actually really good. I'm going through right now. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm experiencing something right now. <clears throat> this is actually really good. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. The protein. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm freaking out right now. Okay, this is actually really good. I'm not gonna lie. Flex. Y'all got something going on here with this. This is actually really good like I'm gonna 
probably drink this again tomorrow. This is actually really good, and I'm glad I have two. I'm glad I bought two. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna level. We're gonna just level. The company that <clears throat> I originally had their um, chocolate brownie vegan protein, it was almost like a malted chocolate brownie instead of just like chocolate brownie. And I like, I like the multi, I like that multi flavor. This does not really have that multi chocolate taste, but it is straight up brownie. Like it is a straight up brownie tasting protein. Like if my, like if I baked with this and I actually made vegan uh, fudge brownies with this, I mean, it's game over. It's it's game over. It's it's awesome. It's delicious. So, if I had just tried this without trying the other protein that I used to get, then I mean, I would have nothing to compare it to. But it's like I'm looking for that multi flavor that I had with the other protein, and it's not as strong in this one. But that doesn't matter because I I care about the chocolate brownie flavor, which this. I mean, I mean, this is like a 9 on 10. This is like a 9 out of 10. And I'm sure as I continue to drink it, that rating will probably <laughs> increase. Because this is actually really good. Like, if I don't like a protein, I'm not going to keep sipping on it, keep, dr keep drinking it. I'm going to be like, this is gross. I want my money back. And this, I don't, I don't feel that way about this. The other protein that... I tried it's not chocolate brownie it's called chocolate frost and it's by first form this is the um, vegan power pro protein by first form and it's uh, the chocolate frost flavor this was one that I got when I I couldn't find a chocolate brownie but I just really wanted a chocolate protein because I needed a chocolate protein so I got this chocolate frost this is really good but this one is better for what I'm looking for. I want that chocolate brownie flavor. This is good for just like a chocolate flavor protein. It's it's good. I like it. But this has that chocolate fudge brownie. Like it really is chocolate fudge brownie flavor. And I like this a lot better than this. Although this is good too. I like this better. I'm glad I have two of these. So this will also taste good with um some PB2 mix into it and do like chocolate peanut butter fudge. Oh, I have ideas now. I, we have ideas now. Okay, I'm digging this. I like this. This is good. 9 out of 10. Like I said, as I drink it, I'll probably give it a 9.5. I don't know, but not sponsored. Yeah, see, it's, it's good. It does have like a little multi flavor to it that regular chocolate protein, I, the one that I have, um, just doesn't have, but, you know, it's, it, it, this is just good. I just like this better. I think it's great. So, not sponsored, uh, Flex, Flex Vegan Protein Chocolate Fudge Brownie, 9 out of 10 from me. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try to make more stuff with this. I actually really like this. It's good. It's good, y'all. 24 grams of protein. So, I hope that you enjoy this video. Okay, I'm not using that. Okay. We're not gonna use that. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're out here trying to make the gains, keep it plant based. Yeah, this was fun. Maybe we'll do it again. Um, I have some other... They have a... Flex has a... I keep... I keep throwing these brands around like I'm sponsored or something. I mean... <laughs> but they do have another... Um, they have another flavor. Another vegan flavor called... Uh, I think it's vanilla ice cream or... Melted ice cream or vanilla ice cream or something. So... <clears throat> so I do want to try that that one. Maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
yeah, so maybe I'll try their vanilla flavored one because they have a vanilla flavored one too. Um, I also use PE Science. Uh, I use their vegan line of protein. It's really good. Their cinnamon one's really good. Their chocolate um, peanut butter cup one is good. Um, I've had their, have I had their vanilla one before? I don't actually know. Maybe I had a sample of it. I don't know. But they have a vanilla one, so I'm going to try Flex, uh, Flex's vanilla vegan protein. And yeah, maybe I'll do this again. Do some more taste test stuff. And um, yeah, trying to keep the gains, trying to keep the gains gaining over here, you know? Gotta keep it, gotta keep it tight, gotta keep it together. So I'm happy that I have this protein and yeah, maybe I'll do some more taste tests. And thanks for watching my crazy self. It's like way past my bedtime right now, but yeah. Thanks for watching.